With Horizons DLC, The Burning Shores, coming out tomorrow, April 19th, I thought I'd do a quick video going over some tips I've picked up in my time using the photo mode. Some of these may seem totally basic for seasoned photo mode users, but hopefully something's in here that's useful to you watching. Let's start with tip number one, the time of day slider. I have hammered this to death in other videos, but I truly think every single photo mode should have this feature. The difference lighting can make on the mood of a shot is indescribable. Look at this beachside scene with morning, midday, and night lighting. Lighting is, it's just absolutely key in photography to create the desired atmosphere and focus. What I often do is get my shot lined up and compose just how I want it, then go through all the times of day to see which one feels just right. Tip number two is Michael Scott's safe word. Jan and I have a safe word in case things go too far. Foliage. Find yourself some foliage and use it in the foreground. Simply having something obstructing the view of your image adds a voyeuristic and documentary kind of effect to your images, as if this shot was taken candidly. Be sure when doing this that you set your aperture low, but not too low. What you don't want is your leaves looking like two-dimensional squiggly lines. You want the foliage to be somewhat visible with a slight blur. Like this, not like this. Also, try to focus on the character's eyes when doing a very shallow depth of field. If nothing else, you at least want the eyes of the character to be crystal clear. Here's a little micro tip within this tip. Always toggle the depth of field blur options on and off before locking in your image. Sometimes it can be hard to tell what is or isn't being blurred. I used to take shots that I thought had a nice depth of field, but the subject was actually really blurry. When you toggle the blur on and off, you can make absolute sure what is or isn't out of focus. All right, tip number three, take to the skies. The camera range in Horizon is somewhat limited to where Aloy is, so hop on that sun wing and get a view from above. Not only can you get some stunning shots of flight, but you can also use this to get extreme bird's eye view kind of perspectives. It's great. Number four, rotate the camera. Always, always rotate your camera 90 degrees for portrait shots. Yeah, you'll have to tilt your head sideways when editing on your TV, but this allows you to retain 100% of the detail rather than cropping a wide shot image in post. Lastly, and this is hardly a tip and more just me talking, experiment with stuff. Sometimes my favorite shots come from me just moving the camera around. I'll sometimes have a shot in mind that just doesn't quite look right, so I start playing with new angles, new perspectives, and new focus points. Well, that's all I got. I cannot wait to jump back into the Horizon DLC. This game's photo mode is truly one of the best in the industry, and it's, it's so satisfying to use. So see you next time. I try